Welcome to your chair yoga class for this week. Hopefully you're nice and cozy at home and somewhere where you'll be comfortable for the next little while. Just make sure that there's not going to be too many interruptions and that you're going to be warm enough and you have a chair to uh, use for your practice as we start to move. It's just going to be nice and supportive for you. So for your class today, you'll need uh, a yoga belt or something like the belt of a dressing gown or a resistance band or a scarf, something that you can just use for a little bit of supportive movement later. Um, you'll, use, you'll need your chair and access to a wall. So um, either be able to move your chair to a wall or have a second chair that you can move to as we go on. And um, I have my feet supported by a bolster, but if you find that your feet aren't comfortably resting onto the mat or onto the floor, maybe popping um, if you have a low step or a couple of books underneath the feet just so that you're nice and grounded and connected. So we'll start with a short guided meditation. I invite you to either come to really sitting on the chair that you're on in a way that's nice and uh, supported so that your sit bones are fully grounded. There's not too much space between your lower back and the back of the chair and your upper back can rest comfortably into the, um, into the chair. If you have a wall behind you, you might like to allow your head to rest against the wall. But you can sit in a nice uh, firm armchair or a rocking chair or on your sofa for this if that's more comfortable for you. So take a moment or two to settle the body. To allow all parts of the body that are supported by the chair, that are connected and rooted to fully settle. Take a moment or two to notice all of the points of connection between the body and supports. So notice if your head is resting into a support, perhaps it's just resting into the air around you. Notice where the backs of the shoulders, the upper back, the back of the chest are resting. And allow yourself to fully commit to that connection, to sink into it a little, a little further, a little bit more deeply. Notice if the pelvis, the back of the pelvis, the lower back is connected to support, and it may or may not be. If it is, allow it to be a nice, firm, rooted connection. Notice where your seat, your bum, is connected to the, the seat of the chair. The backs of the thighs on the chair, if you're sitting. And maybe the backs of the legs, the, the thighs and the calves, if you're lying. Notice where the feet, so the feet or the heels are connecting. And press down a little bit more fully with either foot, with either heel, just for a moment, one at a time, and then maybe both together just to remind the body and reassure the body that you're nice and firmly rooted and grounded. So you can decide what to do with the arms. The arms might rest alongside the body with the palms facing onto your thighs or maybe onto your belly, whatever's comfortable. And if you'd like to bring your fingers, thumb and index finger on each hand into mudra, just connecting, uh, making that little circle, that energetic seal there. You can do so if you choose, and then allowing the backs of the hands or the palms of the hands to rest onto the bodies, whichever is going to be most comfortable to sustain for a few minutes. And then allow your awareness to find your breath. Perhaps closing the eyes if you haven't already done so. If you prefer to keep your eyes open, just have a soft gaze, find something, point on the wall, point on the floor, right in front of you that you can just allow your gaze to rest on. Not paying too much attention. But just inviting your gaze to be still rather than to wander too much. Notice the coming and going of your breath. And as much as possible, invite your awareness to settle on the breath as it's coming and going. 
allowing the entire focus of your being just to rest lightly on this breath as it ebbs and flows. Noticing the in-breath making its way into the body, the body expanding, making way for the breath as it travels in. Notice the exhalation and the breath as it leaves the body and the body contracts and moves back in towards center to allow the breath to release out and to help that release. And allow this to be the focus of your attention, the focus of your awareness for the next few breaths. Just noticing that lovely expansion of the inhalations and then the softening, the releasing back to center on the exhalations. The in-breath is your nurturing breath, your revitalizing breath, the breath that feeds you, that feeds your system, that nourishes you. The exhalation is your cleansing breath, the purifying breath, the breath that detoxes and just allows the body to rest back towards center. So the inhalation is a more dynamic breath as it moves out and all of the muscles engage to facilitate the, the movement outwards. On the exhales, the muscles soften so that the body can move back towards center again. So sense into the energies of the inhalations and the exhalations. Vitality of the inhalations. Rest, release, relaxation on the exhalations. And I encourage you to fully embrace the breath. So travel to the peak of the inhalation, uh, the breath and the in-breath to be nice and full and deep and long and slow. And on your exhalations, release and exhale all the way to empty. Allow the in-breath to make its way when it's ready. And the exhales to have their turn when the body is ready to release. We're going to take 10 nice deep breaths together, nice, long, deep, slow, full breaths, breathing all the way down to the belly, if that's comfortable for you, or the fullest breath that your body is inclined and happy to take right now. And each time you exhale, exhale and release all the way to empty so that you make space for the most amount of nurturing, revitalizing breath to make its way back in. Relaxing and softening your jaw. Relaxing the forehead. Relaxing the shoulders and the neck. Counting the breaths as they come in and they go out. Observing the sound of the breath as you breathe in and out. Releasing, <coughs> excuse 
excuse me, releasing the count wherever you're at. You might have reached 10, you might have passed it, you might have been waiting for me to catch up with you. And just notice the effect on your body, the effect on your mind of those nice long calming breaths. And I encourage you at some point again throughout the day, <coughs> maybe later on, <coughs> excuse me, pardon my throat, maybe later on in the day, and as you go through the week, just every now and again, just stop, let the body settle. Close your eyes or find that long, low gaze and have maybe 10 nice, long, full inhalations and exhalations where you count the breath. So one for an inhalation and an exhalation, two for an inhale, ex inhale and exhale all the way up to 10. And then perhaps allow yourself to also notice the sound of the breath coming and going. And then you just let that go and carry on with your day, but it just brings a really nice balancing effect into the body and it immediately calms down our nervous system and calms us. We're going to start to bring a little movement now into the practice. As you exhale, allow your chin to release towards your chest. So keeping your shoulders nice and low. You're not forcing your chin to your chest. You're not trying to do anything other than allow the movement. Allow the weight of the head to give you a nice little lengthening there for your neck and your cervical spine. When you next inhale, really slowly for the length of the inhale, lifting the head, bringing your gaze forward. So you can have the eyes open or close. Have an exhale here. And when you inhale again, just get, raise your gaze very slightly towards the top of the wall opposite you or top of the, the ceiling maybe. So you're not trying to look at the ceiling above your head, you're not dropping your head or your neck back. You're just lengthening the throat here. So just giving a little lengthening for your thyroid. And as you exhale, make the journey from here nice and slowly back to centre and then continue back towards the chest again with the chin so that you're lowering and lengthening your gaze if the eyes are open. If the eyes are closed, you're just aware of the movement here for the neck. Have an in-breath here and an out-breath. And when you inhale again, we're going to take that nice, long, slow journey back where we have slightly extended our gaze towards the top of the wall or the, the ceiling a little bit opposite you again not overextending don't drop your head back don't over stretch the throat which is bringing in a little openness here and then your next exhale just coming back to center release your palms nice and slowly forwards and allow the fingertips to travel to the floor and one at a time just tucking the shoulder blades back towards each other, back towards the center of the, the spine. And you can keep activity in the arms here and the hands or softness, whichever you prefer, maybe somewhere in between. Take a nice full inhalation in your own time. And when you exhale, you're going to allow your right ear to travel towards the right shoulder. You're keeping the shoulder nice and low. In fact, lower it a little bit more if it's a space to do that, so that there's space between the earlobe and the shoulder. And when you're ready to inhale next, nice and slowly, and all these movements are really slow and controlled, come back to centre so that you're you know, moving out to the left shoulder as you exhale, release that shoulder down towards the floor a little so that you're moving nice and slowly, but we're moving with the neck and the head here. The ears are involved and we don't want to bring in any imbalance because it's moving too quickly. On your in-breath, take it back towards centre. Allow the hands to release to the thighs or the, the knees. Take a nice little inhalation. And as you exhale, allow your head to start to drift towards the right shoulder. So chin, nose, forehead, all moving towards your right shoulder. And let that take a couple of breaths. So pause when you inhale and refuel. 
and then continue across on your exhale. If you'd already reached the side, you'd just be saying if there's a little bit more space for you to, to gaze into here. And then in your own time, start that lovely drifting, gliding journey back towards center. Again, I suggest that you, you come back in two breaths so you can really move slowly. So here you will pause on the exhale and start to finish that journey back towards center on the exhale, on the inhale again. Exhale, softening everything. Take a nice full inhalation where you root down with your sit bones and allow the crown of the head to lengthen towards the sky above. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Just take a nice inhale and nourish your breath. And when your exhale comes, start to make your way over towards the left side. So again, just the entire head and face moving in that direction really slowly. When you go halfway with this breath, so that you're really slowing it down, you feel on your inhalation, and then continue on the exhalation. And if your eyes are open, you're just noticing what's coming into your line of sight. You're not paying any particular attention to what you see when you reach that outer edge. Pause here for a moment as you inhale. Exhale, just check, is there any more space to look into? And then on an inhalation, start a nice slow journey back to center again. If the eyes are open, just taking in whatever comes into your line of sight. And you're not getting involved in the story, you're not getting involved in what you see or what you needs to be done. So being nice, nice and mindful with it. And then one last time as you exhale, let the chin to release towards the chest. Keeping your shoulders back, shoulder blades moving towards each other. Inhale nice and slowly. And just go back to a nice central point here. Take a nice breath here, nice little inhalation. And as you inhale, bring the shoulders up towards the ears and roll them back behind you. And as you exhale, just release back towards the waist. Inhale, shoulders coming up towards the ears and rolling back behind you. And then exhaling, releasing them down. You might even sigh with that. Inhaling up towards the ears, rolling back around, releasing with a nice cleansing sign breath. And then as you inhale, just sit down, root down with your sit bones, lengthen up through the crown of the head. As you exhale, enjoy a nice opening there across the chest as you invite the shoulder blades a little closer at the back. Take a nice inhalation. And then exhale forward. So you might be sliding your hands along your, you're bringing your shoulders forwards towards the center of the chest here without collapsing your chest or your torso. And then we're going to inhale and open. So you might be giving yourself a little massage for the thighs as you're going back. Take the shoulder blades back towards each other. And exhale, release forwards. So again, without doping the chest towards the navel, release the arms forward. We'll take the hands away from the legs now as we inhale. Take the shoulder blades back together and lengthen out the arms, stretch into the hands and bring a nice, you release there for the, the lower back as well. So you can move a gentle back bend into it if you like, but don't over arch your lower back. So just cat cow here. And then on your exhales, we let the palms release forwards, lifting the sternum forwards towards the floor out in front of you, rather than towards your navel. So you will round in there into your thoracic spine. And then once more, your counter cat and your inhalation and your cat on your exhalation, lovely. Inhaling back to a nice neutral position at center. And then we're gonna take the arms out to the side, palms facing the ceiling, and the fingertips in line with the shoulders, or maybe slightly lower, but no need to be any higher. So just nice release here. So release the shoulders away from the ears down towards the waist. And as you exhale, you're going to rotate your palms towards the ceiling and round back behind you. And you inhale, 
Release all the way up towards the ceiling. So let the pelvis come back a little bit. So bringing it internal and external rotation here into the arms and the shoulders. Exhaling, rotating around, keeping those arms back and the shoulder blades close to each other. And then roll up towards the ceiling on your next breath. When you next exhale, bring the backs of the hands down towards the sides of the chairs. And when you inhale, nice and slowly bring the arms all the way up towards the ceiling, palms coming towards each other. Drop your shoulders away from your ears so that you don't hunch up or you don't bunch up. Interlace the hands and then rotate the palms forwards with the backs of the hands in line with your chest. Inhaling, hands up towards the ceiling, palms up towards the ceiling, nice and slowly. Exhaling, forwards here, out in front of you, to in front of your, your chest. And then inhaling, releasing the hands out to the side, palms coming towards the wall behind you, rotating them towards the ceiling, and then exhaling, hands back towards the side of the chair. Lovely. And just take a moment there to feel the energy in your arms, maybe feeling it into your core and your chest. And just that part of the wiggle out with either arm, just to whatever way your body, that part of your body now might feel, might feel like, like stretching. Okay, so we're going to take our belt or your resistance band or whatever it is that you have. And if you're using a resistance band, just make sure that you're, um, when you hold your hands, shoulder distance, or maybe tiny a little bit wider apart, that there's not no slackness on the band, that it's actually nice and taut. You're going to have, um, and the same thing actually, when you're holding on with the, um, with any other sort of belt or support that you have, that you want to be pulling the hands slightly apart here. So I'm having the action of pulling my hands apart, nothing's actually happening in terms of movement but my arms are fully engaging so we'll just start here with this so take the hands so that they're a little bit wider than shoulder distance so shoulder distance is when your fist is in line with your shoulder and either hand so either that distance or slightly slightly wider and then bring the the bed the band of the belt um, so that there is a slackness in between there's a little wiggle and as you inhale just bring it to a point where the arms come back to that shoulder distance gap, but you're putting it against the hands away from each other. So you're not going to stretch out. If you're using a resistance band, it might stretch a little bit for you. You want it taut enough so that it doesn't stretch very far. You don't want the arms come too far to the side. Just have a breath or two here and notice the, the muscles in the arms working. So from your fists all the way up to the shoulders, particularly along the tops of the arms, there's a nice engagement here. Exhale, down towards your knees. And then slide the band in towards your belly so that you bring the shoulder blades back towards each other. Inhale, lengthen the band away from you again, back towards that position where the hands are in line with the shoulders. Have an exhale here, drop the shoulders away from the ears. And when you inhale again, bring the band and the, the arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Lovely. We're going to take a little lateral stretch in it here. So as you exhale next, you're going to stretch out towards the right side and the hands continue to pull apart so that we maintain this lovely engagement in the arms as far as your body wants to go here so that you feel the stretch up along the left side of the body. Inhale back to centre and we're sitting nice and tall with it each time. So we're not leaning forward and stretching over and when we stretch over we're not collapsing into it. We're keeping nice length there in the body, keeping the shoulders away from the waist. Inhale back to centre. Exhale nice and slowly forwards, all the way back down towards the knees or the thighs again. And then relax the arms for a moment, take a nice full inhalation. Exhale, have a nice sigh, and then we inhale back. We're going to go once more either side. So all the way up towards the ceiling on your inhalation, nice little movement. Exhaling out to the side, any cracks like that, that was me. It's usually fluids releasing and moving. 
Inhale, lengthening back to the center, sitting nice and tall. And then exhaling out to the other side. And trying not to pull the shoulders towards the ear lobes. Inhale, nice and slowly back to center. And then in your own time, exhaling back towards the thighs, just to give the arms a little release for a moment. Because there's quite a lot of energy moving here at this point. You can release, bend your elbows, take the shoulder blades back towards each other, and then soften. There's quite a lot of energy moving there in the arms, and a nice movement for your chest and your, your upper back as well, your thoracic spine. So this time we're going to take a little torso turn into it. So inhaling forwards. And all the way towards the ceiling, continuing to pull the hands apart here. And as you exhale, you're going to turn your torso towards the right side. So glide across. So if you're just trying to check out what's over on that side of the room, as far as your body wants to take you. Inhale nice and slowly back to center. Have your arms as high as you want to have them. Exhale around. And that might be just out in front of you. We might be doing something more like this. Or you might have them all the way up towards the ceiling. Inhale back to the center. Exhale if you're comfortable out to the other side, or you can release out of it for a moment if you want to break. Inhale back to center. So we're exercising the arms, the shoulders, and a lovely, I'll show you from the side of the moment, it looks like you're a lovely end movement for your, your spine into all the way down into the waist. And then release the hands out in front of you again as you exhale and all the way down to your thighs. Have a breath there. And actually, just as I was modeling that for you, what it might be like to have your arms lower, I realize it's actually quite a nice movement in itself, so we'll do that as well. So inhaling, lengthening forwards. And then with the arms at shoulder distance, continuing to pull apart, releasing your shoulders, you're inviting your shoulder blades back towards each other. Maybe come a little bit wider so that you can really um, have that if your hands are too close together it's hard to pull the shoulder blades back towards each other at the back of the body so just come as wide as you can so that you get feel like you have a nice opening there across your chest and we're going to exhale out to the right side with the arms at this distance allow your gaze to follow through the center of the band and allow the back arm your right arm to come as far behind you as it wants to so you're giving yourself a nice stretch here for your left arm as well as that nice torso twist and then take it back to center on an inhalation nice and slowly. Continue on your exhalation out to the other side. So your gaze is at the center of the band or maybe following your left fist around. And then that fist to go around as far as it wants. So you get that stretch into the right arm. And then nice and slowly inhaling back to center. And exhale and release. We take a nice full inhalation and a nice full exhalation. So we're just moving the energy in this entire um, <clears throat> region of the, of the upper body here, and we're stretching to the side of the body and the lower back with the twists as well. So we're going to take the band up behind us, so your belt up behind you. And you want to hold on. I'm going to come around to turn around to, to show you this. And in fact, I might just come off my chair for a minute because it's hard to sit to do it sideways. And I'll show you this. So you want to be holding about uh, shoulder distance apart here again. And rather than releasing your shoulders forwards, you're taking your shoulder blades back towards each other. And then you're starting to, as you inhale, lengthen the arms behind you. So you're lifting as high as is comfortable for you here. And then exhale down. So enjoy that nice openness across the chest again as you inhale, lengthen the arms back behind you. You might have the band behind your chair. You might want to come to sit forwards a little bit more. And then exhale down. And then take the hands wider. So my hands are probably about, and um, it's probably about a foot, uh, 12 inches or so either side of, just the length of a ruler or something like that, either side of my hips. And as I inhale, I come a little higher. And as I exhale, I release. And then bend the elbows. Take the band to sort of the top of the back of the shoulders, and as you inhale, lengthen there up towards the ceiling, and exhale slowly forwards and round in front of you. Take a nice long inhalation, and a nice sighing exhalation. <sighs> See how that feels. So, loads of mobility there for your 
for your spine and for the upper part of the body. So I'm just going to take your, if you've got blocks or you've got your feet elevated on something, just move that uh, support out to the side for a minute. And we're going to have a little play with something uh, for the lower body here. So you're not going to need your band for now or your belt for now. Come to sit towards the front of the chair. So your sit bones are still nice and firmly connected to the chair. Your pelvis is still nice and firmly rooted onto the chair, but there's uh, plenty of space at the, at the back of the, the chair for you. Make sure that you're nice and stable here, that your chair is not wobbly or you're not, uh, you're not going to wobble off. And then we're gonna take our legs wide. We're gonna take them as far wide as is comfortable for your body uh, for a stretch here between the legs. So initially, slide onto the heels, so slide the heels forward, and I'm not wearing uh, shoes or socks today, if you are, that's okay. Toes towards the ceiling. And see about just bringing your toes slightly out to the side a little bit, so out towards the outer edges of the chair, or out towards the outer edges of your mat, so your baby toes are moving outwards. You can hold on to the chair if you feel like you need balance, so you can release the hands to your thighs. When you exhale next, roll the big toes in towards the center space, in towards the um, so you make sure that you're nice and, and connected to your chair with that. Inhaling, rolling the heels out. So bringing a nice internal and external rotation here into our thighs and our hips. And then exhale, nice and slowly roll forwards. And you're just at whatever distance you want to be like that. You might be here doing it. Uh, for somebody whose hip sockets are more to the side, they might be way out to the side of the chair. So once more in either direction, rolling out on your inhale and then back towards center when you exhale. Lovely, take the soles of the feet onto the floor so that your knees are roughly in line with your roughly in line with your, um, your ankles. You're gonna press, so this is like um, a standing uh, warrior goddess pose. If we were doing a standing up, this is what it would look like. So we're doing, we're mimicking that here with the, with the chair to support our sit bones, to support our seat. And as you inhale, you're going to take your arms nice and wide. Lovely. Exhaling hands to the waist. And really root down with the, the feet here. So my feet are not quite parallel. They're very slightly out, but they're not pigeoned out too much. Just find what's uh, comfortable for your thighs and for your hips. And then as I exhale, I'm going to take a little stretch out to the left side. And I'm keeping this... Uh, right elbow or left elbow back. Inhaling nice and slowly to center. And then exhaling out to the right side. Inhaling back to center. I'm going to take my hands onto my thighs. Press down. And as you're pressing down, you're slightly pressing your thighs apart so that you're at least holding them apart so they don't collapse too much in. And if that's too strong for you, just bring your legs a little closer together. So maybe that you're like this, but you just want space between your legs because we're going to fold forward or bend forward into that. So pressing down with the hands, and the hands can be used as gentle resistance to open up those thighs, lengthen out of your waist, and as you exhale, starting to fold forward. So crown of the head is coming in line with the tailbone. Now you might only want to go to here. If your lower back, if you start to become very conscious of your lower back in any other way, it feels like a nice stretch. Come back to a point where it's comfortable. Or you might be happy to lengthen all the way forwards so that the crown of your head is in line with your tailbone. And again, if we were doing that standing up, this is what it would look like. So we're really using the chair here to support our sit bones, but there's still a nice stretch for the length of your spine from your hips and your weight bearing here, and you're pressing your weight down towards your thighs, towards your legs. So press through with the hands as you inhale and lengthen all the way up to sitting. Lovely. Now, take your legs a little wider again. Almost as wide as is comfortable, but not, um, not fully. And your sit bones, you really want to make sure that you feel like you're nice and stable on the chair. You don't want to feel like you're going to fall off it. But don't be too far back on it, or any more far back on it than you need to, because you want to release your thighs a little bit here. And we're going to stretch the legs out so that the legs are, the legs are straight and the knees are, um, the knees are not 
bend. Now be soft with your knees, don't lock your knees. Lift your toes and spread them and make sure that you're nice and firmly grounded there with the, with the feet. And we're gonna do something similar. So we're gonna inhale, lengthen, and exhale, just fold forwards a little bit. And then you're gonna inhale from here, take a little journey out to the right side of the body. So bring you the torso stretch, and that's gonna give you a stretch into your left waist. And then nice and slowly inhale back to center. So your heart space is beaming down towards the floor and exhale out towards the left side. So bring you a stretch here into the right side of the body and the waist. Inhale back to center. Once more out right to either side. So you're only ever moving as far as is comfortable. Keep the elbows back so that you're not collapsing your thoracic spine, that you're keeping nice openness across your heart space. Exhale back to center. And always your tailbone is in line with the crown of the head so that we're keeping a nice long spine there. Lovely. Inhale back to center. Exhale, see if you want to go a little bit lower, maybe a little closer to the thighs. And then inhale, press yourself up to sit in again. Exhale, whew, sigh out. Lovely. And then inhale, lengthen again. So hold on to your um, hold on to your seat. <laughs> hold on to your seat here for a moment. And we're going to start to play a little here with the legs. So bend your um, your left knee and have this, the toes facing forwards. And then start to rotate the toes of the left foot out towards the wall opposite you. And notice the way my ankle is slightly back behind my knee here. I want to take that so it's in line with my knee, so that my knee is above my ankle. So have a little play with, with yourself doing something like that. And then you're going to take your back leg and turn your foot slightly in the direction of the, uh, the right leg. So the foot is either parallel or slightly like this, and the back leg is straight. So we're coming towards a seated warrior, warrior uh, two position here. Modify this as much as you like. So have your leg closer in if you need to, have the legs closer together. So what we're aiming for here is back leg straight, and then on the front leg, the knee is bent above the ankle. And we're going to inhale and take the arms out to the side. Roll the palms towards the ceiling. Take your right hand onto your right waist and invite that elbow back. And then you're going to bend your uh, left forearm, <coughs> excuse me, and take the forearm onto your thigh. Now your hand is nice and active here. It's not wobbly, floppy. Fingers nice and active. So you can press down with the forearm and then you're going to press your, your chest, your heart space away there from your, from your thigh. Look back over your right shoulder. And that might be as far as you want to go with this, but if you're happy here and you want to just play and see, does this right hand want to come towards the ceiling? Do the fingertips want to wave at the sun? You could try that. And then exhaling back with the hand, Inhaling, pressing yourself up towards a seated position again. Lovely. We're going to swap the legs round. So you're going to bring the toes forward on both legs. You're going to stretch out now your left leg behind you. And again, just check that foot. So it's either parallel or slightly forwards in the direction of the right leg, just not back behind you, because that's just a little bit too much of an opening there for your thigh if we do that. And then you're bending your right knee so your right knee is above your uh, right ankle if you find it looks like this and the ankle is behind the knee that's going to put a lot of pressure on your ankles so it's better to have it slightly forwards or underneath and sit nice and tall here and the toes on this foot are pointing over in that direction towards the wall somewhere we're going to inhale the arms out okay so this is our warrior two look over the middle finger of your right hand and then take your left hand to your left waist with your elbow back we're going to bend this front arm and take the forearm onto your 
thigh and again avoid falling forwards with it press down with your forearm to give you lovely length here taking your chest away from your thigh and you can look back over then the left shoulder and this arm here hand is nice and active so that you have that stability you can either continue just looking here for a moment or for a breath you can take your fingertips towards the ceiling hands onto the waist press up towards sitting Take both legs back so that the knees are separate, the feet are out parallel in front of you, and then press down with the arms. Take the shoulders back, take a tiny little back bend into it as you allow your gaze to move gently towards the ceiling without overstretching the throat. Lovely. Walk the feet so that they come to be about hip distance or so apart, and maybe sit back a little bit more now onto your chair. Just not quite uh, touching the back of it, but sit back so that your, more, more of your thighs are supported. And if you need to get your foot supports back, if you need to pop your blocks or your, your books back in there so that the feet feel connected again, take a moment to do that. And then you're going to press down with the thighs, lengthen up through the spine. We're going to take a forward fold here as we exhale, belly moving towards the thighs, heart center beaming out in front of this gaze towards the floor. So the crown of the head is in line with the tailbone lovely and then you can just start to release your hands down along your legs let the belly connect as much as it wants to and then if it's comfortable for you here you release your head and then release your chin crack the head towards the floor and sink into it soften into it as much as is comfortable for you and your body so that you're releasing all holding now I'm looking slightly forwards for the microphone, but you're releasing all holding from your, from your shoulders, from your arms. You can just really soften into this, pressing down with the feet. So into a nice forward bend here. Really soothing the nervous system. Have a nice little inhalation here. Explore a sigh exhalation. And then as you inhale, sweeping the hands forward, the palms forwards, starting to scoop yourself up, so engaging your pelvic floor. Bring yourself all the way back to sitting. Bring the hands all the way up towards the ceiling. And as you start to get ready for your exhale, allow the back to find the chair, nice and slowly opening and releasing the hands back towards the floor. A nice long spine here and take a nice full inhalation. And then a a nice sighing and soothing exhalation. Obviously, a nice strength building there for the for the thighs and for the for the legs as well. Lots of, lots of stretching for the, the side body. So lots of manipulation for the spine. So we're going to come to do our balance, if you like. Um, come to standing. I'm just going to adjust a little bit here so you have more of my height and. Come to whichever side of the chair is more comfortable for you. So I'm starting um, with my right leg to the left side of the chair. If you're at a different side, that's absolutely fine. Or you might want to stand behind the chair for this, if that's any more comfortable and any more stable for you. So if you're wearing shoes, this isn't going to be um, as easy for you or maybe as safe for you. So you might just want to kick them off and just be on your bare feet or your stopping feet onto the floor. So we'll just start by either you're holding on with both hands to the front of the chair, you're standing behind it, or you're holding on with your um, right arm onto the chair. We're just going to come up onto the balls of the feet as we inhale. And exhale. And if that's too strong for you, do one foot at a time. So take maybe um, your right foot out in front of you and just you could bend the knee and just coming up and down here just to stretch out the arches. Or you could stabilize with your right foot and come up. Uh, onto the ball of the left foot. So whichever is going to be more uh, comfortable for you. And inhale, come up. So just, this is really good, nice and slowly, really good for the nervous system, really good for balance. Your whole body really is engaging. So lengthening up. We'll get the outer hips towards each other a little so you have a nice tone in your legs and nice tone in your belly there. And again, we're keeping a nice length in the spine. We're not collapsing forwards, inhaling up. And exhaling down. 
And inhaling up for your own time. And exhaling down. And then turn to face your chair. And see this is suit you, it might, it might not. Might it be okay for you to lift your left leg up onto the chair from whichever leg is, is on the outside, depending on where you are. And then just stand nice and tall here. So you're on one leg here. You're supported, both feet are supported. And if this isn't, if this isn't comfortable for you, just lift your knee off the floor. Don't lift your knee off, you lift your foot off the floor so that your knee is bent into whatever variation of this angle is comfortable for you. If you're using, and then we're going to see by coming up onto one foot. And um, so if you're uh, doing it without the chair, you'll be doing it like this, coming up on one foot. And, uh, but the chair just gives you a little bit more of extra, a little bit of extra stability for that hip. And then maybe you come up onto the bowl of both feet if you're using the, the chair. So see what's working for you. You'll feel the thigh as a standing leg working a little bit. Uh, a little bit more here, lovely. And then once more up. And then, lovely. Take that leg nice and slowly back to the floor. And just take a moment now to notice the difference between right and left side. You're going to notice your right side is feeling a lot more engaged and you're starting to do a bit of work there. So for our balancing, I'm going to take my left foot forwards, pointing the toes onto the balls of my feet. And then I'll start to bend the knees by keeping my foot nice and flexed. Hold on to that knee, or you can hold on to the thigh, or you can just let the leg hover as you inhale. You're going to lengthen out here to the sides as far as your body wants to take you, as far as that hip wants to open up. So it might look like this, or you might be out there if you have um, your hips up in a different position. And then maybe you'll take a hand away, or maybe you'll just start to balance with a fingertip. And then maybe or maybe not, the sole of the left foot might come to either meet the right calf or ankle, in which case you can have your big toe hovering on the floor gently if you want to. And as we inhale, then the left hand might come to the ceiling, or you might prefer to keep it onto your waist. So you decide which variation of your tree you want. And then see, so are you feeling like there's a full moon out there, so our balance might be our best uh, feature today. But just see, do you feel like taking the second arm away? Or does it feel better, even if you have a finger, or light fingers connected to the chair? Exhaling nice and slowly, releasing the arm down if it's extended. Releasing the knee back to center. Stretching the leg out, press through your heel, nice after foot, and just lift it a little. So you don't want to lift it too high, you don't want to overstrain your thigh, but just to give your hamstring a little bit of a, of a stretch right there. And then exhale back to the floor. And then we'll move ourselves around to the other side of the chair. We'll take our little couple of um, sort of warm ups coming up onto the balls of the feet again as we inhale. And exhaling and releasing down. Inhaling up, exhaling in your own time and releasing down. Inhaling up and exhaling, releasing down. And then we'll come round to face the chair. Now, if again, if this is too high for you, if your leg doesn't want to come up onto the chair, um, and it's, it's probably slightly ideally you'd have your knee in line with your hip. This is, this is okay, but otherwise you can do it like this if you want to. And then maybe we're thinking about coming up as we inhale onto the ball with one foot of both feet and back down again. So you're taking more weight onto your left leg this time. And, uh, or you might be doing it like this. Or you just go up and down. So whichever is better for you. And then if the foot is on the chair, you're going to come around to the side. I'm just standing again. And we're going to take the right foot out in front of us, draw the right leg nice and straight, coming onto the ball of the foot there. Inhaling, so just flexing the foot before we come up. 
press through here, nice flex foot. And then as we inhale, we're gonna open out there to the side. So as much as your inner thigh wants to facilitate, as much as your hips want, want to facilitate, and as much as your um, groin area there wants to facilitate, inhale back to center. So feel a stretch, but don't go into anything that feels really uncomfortable. Inhale, open. And exhale, back to center. Inhale, open. And then maybe this time the sole of the foot might find either the calf or the ankle, whichever is more comfortable for you, for your, for your body. So keep you nice and long here in the body. As you inhale, maybe this right arm wants to come towards the ceiling. Maybe you can start to play with your balance here. So taking away hand or maybe just resting on the fingertips. So one fingertip, whatever feels good. Maybe you're feeling like a uh, moon goddess today and you want to take both arms away. And the chair is always here for you if you want it. And then exhaling, this extended arm comes down. You take the leg out in front of you, straighten out a little bit, pump the toes, press through here, just through the hamstring, and then nice and slowly on the floor again. And then you're going to make your way back to the chair for one last little movement before we come to our relaxation. And then as we inhale, so we're going to just find the chair. And this is a, 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 a twist. So just check, are you more comfortable to be uh, sitting forwards like, um, like this for your twist, twisting around to the side or coming to sit on the side of the chair. So just come to see which feels better for you, which feels safer for you. You get a slightly more um, angular twist. So what I'll do is I'll turn the chair around so you can see what I'm doing. You get a slightly more manipulation in your twist if you're comfortable to sit sideways on the chair. But some chairs can be very narrow. So if you found that you're sitting sideways on the chair and you feel like you're lopsided and, and the chair's gonna pull over to the side, then uh, come to face forward. Um, if you are using the back of the chair, if you have the back of your chair to your side, you're going to take both your hands onto either side of the chair at the angle that they're already at. And if you're just sitting forwards on the chair, you're not coming to the side of it, you're going to take your, um, your left hand. So my, my left side is beside the chair here. You'll be taking your right hand to your knee and your left hand to your waist if you're facing forwards. If you're using the chair, you have the benefit of the chair for leverage. So you can press your right hand against the chair and then use your left hand to pull into the chair to take you around. So we're going to lift and lengthen whichever way you're facing. And as you exhale, you're going to take your navel slightly around to the side. Root down with your sit bones, rise up on your inhalation. And as you exhale, just see if I'm twisting a little bit more to the side so that you're bringing your right waist, right side of your thoracic, or right side of your diaphragm into the movement. And you're going to lift and lengthen here. And as you exhale, then maybe you'll turn around to look over that shoulder. And all the while, you're pushing and pulling against the chair to support that. Don't push and pull so much that you go into it any too, too deeply. Take a nice full inhalation. And then a sign exhalation as you release all the way back to center. Nice full inhale here. And sigh. It can be really nice, deep. It can be a very releasing um, stretch. I often just do this during the day at the kitchen table. If I feel a little bit tight in my back or if I feel a little bit like I'm holding on to tension in my belly, it's just a nice cleansing little movement all by itself. So again, you're just going to come to the other side. So that might be that you're facing forwards in your chair and you're taking your left hand to your left knee and your left elbow back behind you and you're twisting like this. Or you might be holding onto the chair if you're at the side of it. And again, you're using this as a sort of leverage to, to push and pull you as you come around. So lift and lengthen. And as you exhale on your first movement, you're taking your navel side around to the side and your gaze is following around. Root and rise on your inhale, so root down with your sit bones, lengthen to the crown. As you exhale, just taking your side body a little bit more into the movement. 
And then you're lifting and lengthening using these hands. If they're on the chair to control you, as you turn around, you look over the right shoulder. Okay, nice for inhalation here. And as you exhale, release all the way back to center. Okay, nice for inhalation. And on the exhale, we just fold forward a little bit. Over the, the belly towards the thighs, just for release there. Releasing the length of your spine, releasing your lower back, release the chin towards your chest, soften your shoulders. Nice for inhalation. Sigh in the exhale. Release a little bit deeper towards the belly, belly towards the thighs. And then inhaling, looking forwards, nice and slowly. And exhaling, sinking back into your chair, back into your seat. Take a breath or two, have a sighing breath if you like. Your hard work is done. And now just find wherever you'd like to be, whatever position you'd like to be in for your, your final few minutes of relaxation. So you might want to come to lying down, you might want to get yourself nice and uh, supported in a nice um, firm armchair, or you might be comfortable in the chair that you're in. You want to get yourself uh, maybe covered in a blanket so that you can be nice and warm and cozy. And I'm going to take a few minutes just to guide you into a little bit of stillness, and then I'll pop on some music there for the last few minutes. And you can just um, be talking over the music. Uh, it doesn't seem to be so effective. So find your comfortable position to be resting into, find yourself nice um, connection there with your, with your supports. I'm just going to try and see is my music connected. And then soften, come to relax. So lots of uh, work this morning to bring lots of flip flexibility and mobility into the joints to bring some strengthening into the muscles in, in the entire body. We worked a little bit with the core and then strengthening and stabilizing the lower body as well. Working on balance, working a little on tone. Now the work is done and the work is to rest. So allow yourself to settle. Close in the eyes if it's comfortable for you to close your eyes. Just making sure that the body is supported and can trust into those supports so that you're going to be comfortable enough to start to release, to relax. Relax your jaw. Soften your mouth, your lips, your tongue. Relaxing the shoulders, the arms, biceps, elbows, forearms, wrists and hands in each of your fingers. Relaxing your chest, front and back, your belly above and below the navel, the hips, the pelvis, the glutes. Letting your legs be heavy and relaxed and releasing out fully. Relaxing the ankles, the heels, soles and tops of your feet, each of your toes. So letting everything be lovely, effortless, easy and relaxed. And finding your breath. Noticing the breath as it comes and goes. Observing the inflow and the outflow. And as I start to play the music and you come a little bit more into stillness, you might want to repeat that exercise that we had at the beginning of the practice of counting to 10, counting 10 breaths, 10 full inhalations and exhalations. And a round of breath is an inhale and an exhale. So that would be one breath all the way up to 10 and then just allowing your awareness to move with the numbers and 
the sound of the breath. And if you find you get distracted and you wander off, just come back to one again and start over. So allowing yourself to soften a little fully. And just you, your breath, spend a little time together at ease.
Shanti, peace to all. May you be well, may you be happy. May you ride the waves of your life. May you live in peace, no matter what you are given. So thank you for joining me for your class today. I hope you feel a little bit limbered up and stretched out after that and hopefully a little bit more centred. Um, I'll see you back soon and in the meantime, stay well, stay safe and mind yourself. Thank you. Namaste. Mm -hmm.